Hello there and welcome back to our course on Access 2019. In this module we're going to take a look at the use of keyboard shortcuts. Now keyboard shortcuts are a great way of moving efficiently and working efficiently within Access and some people actually prefer to use keyboard shortcuts as opposed to a mouse. Now that might be just down to personal preference or it might be that they have some kind of physical or physiological reason why they need to use a keyboard as opposed to a mouse. Now I would say that if you don't use the keyboard much and you're perfectly happy with working with the mouse then you can skip this section. But I would say that I use keyboard shortcuts a lot but I don't tend to use them when I'm recording a video such as this one for demonstration. Mainly for the reason that if I'm using keyboard shortcuts when I'm working in Access, you can't actually see when I'm using them. So I prefer to use the mouse because it's easier for you to see what I'm doing that way. However, in my daily working life, I do use quite a number of shortcuts, not only in Access, but across all of the Microsoft applications. And I would say that most people probably have in general, maybe seven to 10 that they use all the time. So things like, cut, copy and paste, so control X, control C, control V, and also maybe save, control S, print, control P. People generally have their favorite shortcuts that they utilize all the time. And I will say there are so many shortcuts in Access that you're never gonna remember all of them off the top of your head. However, there is a way to find out the keyboard shortcut for your commands. So for example, if I hover over on the home ribbon, the copy button, you'll see there it's telling me that control C is the keyboard shortcut for that particular command. If I hover over spelling, you can see that F7 is the shortcut key for that. So some of these commands do have that useful screen tip, which will allow you to see what the keyboard shortcut is. However, if you hover over some other commands, so let's hover over totals, you'll see the screen tip literally just says totals. It doesn't show me the keyboard shortcut. So it's worth remembering that not every command has a keyboard shortcut. However, if you do want to see a definitive list, you can find a list of all of the shortcuts available within help. So I'm going to press F1 to pull up my help and I could in help search for keyboard shortcuts and you can see here the first link there is keyboard shortcuts for access and I can then pull it up and it goes through the whole list in a table so that might be something which you want to print out have near you so that you have access to all of those as and when you need them I'm just going to close that down and also remember as we discussed before if you press the alt key that's going to pull up the shortcuts that you can use to jump between your ribbons and when you jump across to a new ribbon you can then select whichever command it is that you need again using entirely your keyboard so don't forget that you have the alt option there as well that's about it on keyboard shortcuts in the next module we're going to discuss key tips so i'll see you over there if you're not a subscriber Click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To get a free Microsoft Access 2019 course, including downloadable exercise files, click over there. And click over there to watch all the videos in this Access 2019 playlist.